Hallelujah, we finally test the hammer purple pearl urethane, or the purple hammer as it's known. If you like what we do, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe and check us out on Patreon. Is it weird that we took this long to test this ball? Perhaps. I mean, <clears throat> it's a situation where, firstly, the ball's been around for a while, and secondly, since I don't personally throw urethane often anymore, I don't go out of my way to buy these balls for reviews. There was also a time where the EBI balls were discontinued and the cost on the open market was pretty much ridiculous. I know there's been a, you know, and continues to be, I would say, demand for the Purple Hammer, and what I cannot personally do is give you context to how this particular, you know, Brunswick version compares to the original Hammer EBI version, but I guess at this point, it doesn't really matter since this is what's available, so let's get into it. What I see right away is the Purple Hammer is the more direct type shape. Like any urethane ball for the most part, you want to waste as little energy on side to side motion to allow it to hit down lane and carry. In a way, it's it's going to wind up being easier to talk about this ball relative to other urethane balls, but a uh, shootout will be coming. The pearl in the urethane definitely adds a touch of push as compared to a solid urethane. It will be clearer when we do that comparison video. Um, while this is a urethane ball that you expect to read early, it still needs friction to respond, I would say. so. And I was able to get to the pocket going up 7-8, um, a little further left, and there's too much friction too early. Um, you know, urethane still reads relatively early, right? Um, and this is, a, I would say, a you know, typical urethane in that it's pre pretty easy to break the reaction. What I mean is, on a cliff shot, as soon as you move the ball to the high volume side of the cliff, the ball can easily go 60 feet if you're not careful. But what I really liked is playing the direct shot. From there, I had the light hit working, high flush, as well as the frozen rope, um, which is really that miss in on a house shot, and that really worked well. Um, you can ask this ball to move down lane, uh, but you definitely have to manipulate, you know, via speed and axis rotation more. So, you know, more so than you would with a reactive ball. Otherwise, you, you will get deflection. Uh, in a way, I was a little surprised I could get into the third arrow and make it work without tremendous difficulty. But again, that's you know slowing it down a bit. From a two-handed standpoint, as you would expect, the Purple Hammer is a great ball for my two-handed game. Um, it's obvious I'm sort of rev dominant style um, with medium speed. Since I'm crossing lots of volume, getting it down lane isn't extremely difficult. Again, that with that um, you know cliff type of shape, but the smooth motion and response down lane really gives me great control in a wide open pocket. I can wheel it away out to the friction and get it to come back but with that urethane control versus that sort of uncontrollable, really hard um, you know, snap of reactive resin. The thing I did notice is the reaction softened substantially as the test progressed, um, to the point that I actually had to move five boards left at, to find the pocket again. But what was fun was to be able to, to play way more direct as a two-hander and not have to be on, say, like the Badger pattern to do it. The good thing is I, got the reaction back when I moved left. Uh, it wasn't like I moved left and urethane puked like, you know, like it can do since you're draining more energy with more friction. Um, you know, and I would say typically you don't want to go straighter once you've opened up, but the shot was gone and I had no choice. And so anyway, it, it looked quite good. Final thoughts. Um, I would say the bottom line is I can see why urethane lovers like this ball. Um, it is on the what I would say, quote, lesser side of urethane strength while remaining relatively versatile. Um, lesser meaning it offers a slightly cleaner, longer look than your solid urethane shape. And that change is enough to allow a bit more stored energy. Because it does have limited flare, it does seem to sort of lengthen the pattern um, as you throw it. There, there's really no denying that. Um, we saw it after about two games, uh, three games even worse. I did have to move back left, as I mentioned, to pick up earlier friction to get to the pocket. But because of the cleaner look, I was able to get it dry, to drive. 